Kettle Hyundai of Lakewood is presenting the 2024 Ionic 5 in black over black. This is the limited trim rear wheel drive long range. I'm going to go over what you're getting from the different specs of the vehicle and the charging capabilities plus the distance or range that you're going to be getting per trim. All trims will get 19 inch wheels. When you go into the limited, you can get optional 20 inch wheels and the D100 will have a unique wheel in the front standard led headlights and the limited in the d100 will get projector lights all trims will have a heated side view mirror with turn signals but the power folding goes into the limit in the d100 the silver that you're seeing on the front bumpers and on the side of the fenders is because we're on the limited option underneath this it's going to be black all trims will have an active grille shutter on the lower bumper but bumping it up to the limited gets the front rear parking sensors and a 360 degree reverse camera and all trims have a frunk that will give us an additional 6.1 cubic feet of storage. The SE with the standard range will only receive a rear wheel drive with 125 kilowatt battery. That's good for 168 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. Charging with a level two or a 240 volt is around five hours and 50 minutes, and the super quick charge at 800 volts, 10 to 80% in 18 minutes. Ticking the box for the SEL and up, we'll get a 168 kilowatt lithium ion battery pack for the rear wheel drive with 225 horsepower and 268 pound-feet of torque. Charging will go to seven hours in 10 minutes with a range on this at 303 miles. You can option an all wheel drive on those trims as well. And the D100 will only be optioned with all wheel drive with 320 horsepower max and 446 pound-feet of torque the same charging time so if you're looking to get a little bit quicker you can go all-wheel drive with this but you will not get the wheels and some of the exterior design plus the interior will be changed because it'll be unique to the d100 towing up to 2300 pounds and 6.1 inches of clearance is going to be standard when you go into the limited trim in the d100 the roof is going to look seamless but it's an actual panel moonroof they call it a vision roof because you can see through it in the interior but you can't on the exterior and the pattern carries on on the door panel with the silver because of the limited trim standard led taillights and deployable door handles which makes more aerodynamics for the vehicle with 132 mpge's for the city 98 mpge's for the highway with a combined of 114 mpge's i like how the lower roof spoiler keeps that sporty style and the silver will come into the back giving more of that retro design power lift gate that starts on the sel with cargo starting at 27.2 cubic feet it does raise up a little bit but it's an easy entrance and it's also a wide entrance the privacy cover with a 12 volt charger underneath the floor is going to get a little little bit of storage and you have to go into the back in order to maximize the cargo to the 59.3 cubic feet fourteen way power seat adjustment for the driver eight way power seat adjustment for the passenger h tech seats start on the limited trim memory for the driver heated ventilated and relaxed seat for the driver se standard range will get cloth seats headroom and leg room it is a completely open foot well which makes it a lot more easy for anybody in the front because this is a limited trim you're getting a heads-up display the bose upgraded sound system a digital rear view mirror with the home link, the vision moon roof, and you also receive the upgraded key fob, which is the smart key that adds the parking assist. So I put two next to each other so you can see the difference, and the back is going to be the same. Two screens with this one panel, both a 12 point three inch. We have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. You have a quick wedge right here. Dual climate control settings. Quiet mode, which is standard on all trims. Blue link. 
and you have Hyundai Pay. When you switch it to reverse, we got a 360 degree reverse camera, full trajectory for the front and the rear. You could zoom in and out, and you also have the 3D view so you can go all around the vehicle. And if you listen closely, you'll hear the beeping noise. You'll have to go into the infotainment for the seats to be functioned for the heated, ventilated, or the heated steering wheel. It is going to be leather wrapped. That is standard on all trims. Multi-function adaptive cruise control lane keep assist. The paddle shifts or for the regenerative braking. Driving mode, you just push the button and it will change out the gauge cluster layout. You have three different driving modes and if you click and hold it, you'll have a snow mode. Plus, you can go through an array of information for the driver, including your turn-by-turn -turn navigation and different settings for the vehicle. And if you want to change the layout, you just go into the screen layout theme. You can go into the cluster here, and we'll click that off. And now you have theme A, B, and C. You also have a screen saver. You can change your quick tabs for that split screen. So everything is pretty intuitive and easy to operate. 12 volt charger, USB port storage underneath. And then you got a wireless charging pad, two USB ports, another large area for storage. And this is gonna be soft to touch. Opens up with more storage here and you can also fold this back. The gear lever is now on the steering column which is the reason why we have so much more space here in the center. The 360 camera and the blind spot view monitoring which will show you when you use your indicators, the cameras on the gauge cluster is only on the limited trim in the D100 with 64 colors for your ambient lighting. The dashboard and the doors integrate in together. It's gonna have a little bit more of a longer grab handle, one touch up and down for the front windows. And you have the ambient lighting that goes into here with a long storage pocket. Back seats headroom, and you can recline these back, which will make it a little bit more comfortable. Headroom will still be pretty good. Leg space and you'll have storage that's added behind the driver's seat when you go limited trim, USB ports, more storage, cup holder with armrest starts on the limited trim as well as the sun shades and that goes up to the D100. You get the air vents on the side also and the door panel will have the same material so it's soft where it needs to be and the ambient lighting will be found into here and around the Bose sound system with a long storage pocket and a beverage holder carved out. The back is not a flat floor but you have plenty of feet space, leg space, knee space, butt and shoulder space because of the way the design of this vehicle is and the same thing with headroom because of the pano you're not gonna have a problem if you're at six foot three. 225 horsepower. We're gonna engage it to sport mode with 258 pound-feet of torques. Here we go. Sounds like an airplane getting ready to take off, but it is quick. 303 mile range, charging overnight at 8.5 hours. And 132 MPGEs for the city with 98 MPGEs for the highway. I'm liking what I'm seeing because you can pretty much charge this overnight and get that full charge. And if that's not gonna be quick enough, 18 minutes with a 800 volt super quick charge. That's 10 to 80%. When you change it into Eco, the pedal is heavy. You have to really mash it for it to go. Normal will kind of open it up a little bit and Sport just lets it go. I like that when you're in the SEL and up, to the limited trim, you can option the all-wheel drive also, which will give you 320 horsepower. So if this is not enough power, you have more options. In the interior, going into the limited, this is kind of the sweet spot because it more or less unlocks every single thing. The SEL will start with the HTEC seats and the power seat adjustment is standard for the driver, but the limited unlocks the passenger. Plus, you're getting 64 ambient color and then you're getting that vision roof which makes it kind of stand out of class when you're competing against other electric variants. 6.1 inches of clearance you're taking care of for your day in and day out. I like that we still receive a frunk and the integrated turn signals for the cameras that are in the gauge cluster just makes Hyundai a lot more safe than anybody in its class because you don't not just you're not just getting blind spot but you're also getting in the gauge cluster. Turn radius about two lanes. 
Windows are large all around you, but they look sleek on the exterior. Sporty 80s look encased with 21st technology. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to stop by Gettle Hyundai of Lakewood to check out their new and pre-owned selection.